Hello everyone and welcome back to Automation and Beam NG Drive where I'm going to try to design a truck for Mars. Well, more appropriately, a truck for Mars gravity. We're not going to worry about the pressurization system or appropriate fuels or anything like that. The fact that the truck engine is going to be oxygen breathing even though we're not going to have oxygen for it to breathe on Mars. Mainly it's first tackling the issue of Mars gravity. And Beam NG Drive lets you adjust the gravity as we'll see later on in this video. Unfortunately, automation does not. So automation only lets you design a, in this case, it's gonna be a pickup truck uh, for Earth, you know, without any other modifications. So the trick is that I'm going to design it really, really light for Earth. Basically pick the lightest possible components and then once I test that it works to uh, my satisfaction on Earth, then use cheaper, heavier components so that it'd be better suited for Mars. Mars gravity is 36% that of Earth, so we need to load it up by basically a factor of three. This was all done during a Twitch live stream, and without further ado, I'm going to go to the original audio, which will explain my thought processes in all the design decisions I am making. I think I like the 85 version better. Oh, these. I don't think that's appropriate. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go with this. Just be spinning the tires? Okay. Alright, so, first design for Earth with lightweight. So, we're going to go. Aluminum. I think we'll go aluminum. Corrosion resistant steel. We'll probably end up with that. Uh, oh, I wanted to make it light. Sorry, wrong way around. I want the semi space frame now and then we'll increase to the light truck monocoque. Okay. Okay, so we'll start with the McPherson strut and then increase weight. Push rod seems the lightest. And then we'll increase quality, but we'll decrease quality later. Okay. So, new engine. ETE, elegant truck engine. I'm gonna go, say, 200. Uh, maybe we'll stick with EAE. 200. In line six. Hmm. Of course, the functioning of the engine in lower gravity is not going to be modeled right. If we have it placed horizontally, that would basically nullify that issue, really. So I'll go with a boxer six. Shorter strokes, somewhat lighter weight. I don't know, let's just keep it to this size first. More friction seems like it might be a good thing. Um, or maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. I guess we'll just go dual overhead cam. Maybe you want emissions on Mars, I don't know. Are you supplying your own oxidizer? We're gonna pretend for a little while. It is it is a truck, it could carry its oxidizer in the flatbed. But um, uh, we're gonna have to figure out how to convert it to uh, possibly methane CO2 engine or something. Uh, that'll come later. Let's let's not talk about that. Let's pretend for a sec. Um, but it could carry the oxidizer in the flatbed, that's for sure. Uh, though, they'd have to carry quite a lot. Mm. Well, we certainly will want that fuel economy. Uh, we'll probably have to back down from this. Well, no turbocharger for Mars. Why is race zero weight? Uh, I think we can go for ultimate on the fuel. <laughs> I mean, it's somewhat irrelevant in this case. 
I don't know, Mars? There's not gonna be much sound, there's not gonna be much... The atmosphere is already CO2. Oh, well, this is the first time I put together an engine that doesn't start with engine knocking. That's impressive. Okay, so... I don't know if I need a very large engine. We certainly don't need a whole lot of torque. What can I do to reduce the torque so that we don't get... Uh, I'm not gonna look at this yet. I'm gonna... I'll do all the bling later. We certainly want... All-wheel drive or 4x4? 4x4, I guess. Maybe manual. We'll see. We don't need them to go very fast on Mars. Well, no wheel spin issue. I mean... Yeah, we don't need them to go very fast. Uh, let's say 120, just to be nice about it. Nah. Definitely, we want... Better off-road. I guess we'll go radial. We de we need chunky off-road. And we're gonna need bigger diameter. But we're, we're, ne we're gonna need to bring this a little bit higher. Hold on. Oh, maybe I can do that in here. Looks like the drum brakes are better for off-road, it says. Off-road skid tray. Well, off-road is off-road. Cooling flaps. I don't know. Not... I don't think that's gonna work the way they think it will on Mars. Two seats. Well, I guess that's it. I think we're going to have to assume that it's going to be a luxury interior, when you think about it. With luxury sat-nav. Luxury RTG heating. I don't know if traction control would work on Mars. Uh, alright. Advanced, well, I mean, this is NASA. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Active comfort, yes. Semi-active. Passive. Never fine. Comfort. Okay, first I wanted to increase the right we can't increase the right height any more than that? Why? Oh that makes it even smaller. I want a higher ride height. How do I stop the tires from clipping into the top of this? Why can't I make this taller? Well, yeah, it ends up being a low rider truck, but we don't need that. We need clearance for Mars. We don't need this low rider nonsense. How do we bring that down? 14.5 miles per gallon? Crazy. And that what, that approximately costs $163,000? What? How do we get there? Was it the luxury interior? Hold on, let me just see. Basic interior. What's the difference? Oops. That doesn't make any difference at all. Hmm. Drivability sucks. There are apparently different markets. Fruinia. I don't know. Well, let's try and make the engine a little bit better, maybe. Well, we'll do that later. Okay, front brake force is low compared to grip. Well, initially we want to make sure all that stuff is fine. May will reduce grip first, and then... 
increase it again. Dampers are hard. Okay, comfort is low on that. Okay, well that, that's three. Low capacity is low for its cargo volume. Consider increasing ride height. I want to increase ride height! I'm doing fine. Except it won't let me increase the ride height. Don't know why. Front and rear suspension choices. Oh. Now well, we might have to go for some pistons with these. That helps. Well, I mean, the low capacity's gotta be much better on Mars, anyway, so maybe we don't need to even think about that. I would like to increase the ride height, though. Short gearing is a problem. Rear tires are wide for the chosen compound and the load they carry. Yeah, but we may want to... think about Mars on that. Okay, well, let's uh, put it around the test track and see what happens. It's not gonna go fast. Okay. 247 and I'm gonna export this for BMNG as a non Mars thing. Okay, now Mars version. So right now our weight is 1800 kilograms. What we would like to do is double that. <laughs> so, um, this is not gonna react well to the track we have, but treated steel, I guess. Corrosion resistant, eh, that's fine. Light truck monocoque. Steel is fine. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Corrosion resistant steel, fine. Uh, I mean, is that a lot more expensive? Steel seems cheapest. Let's go steel. Double wishbone suspension. Maybe that'll allow the ride height to be higher. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's this push rod that limits the ride height. So double wishbone suspension might allow us to increase it. But engineering time is a while. Still, I like the sound of double wishbone more than solid axle leaf. So, okay. The fuel efficiency of this is gonna be horrid, but... Cast iron. You're gonna have mostly a cast iron truck here. Well, the heavy duty doesn't seem any heavier than the lightweight one. Though I don't know. That's a lot of torque. I don't know how to like reduce. I, I'm worried about wheel spin and all. Well, we could just have four gears. BMNG, Utah. I don't know about. Maybe the Utah map would be good. Yeah. I was planning on uh, testing it in BMNG with the gravity turned low. I want to see what it looks like. Okay, we really need to increase. A ride height. Let me just go over there and see if we can. Now, okay, good. Okay. Let's have the biggest, baddest tires we can. 
Uh, this one looks like it needs to be further forward if I could make it that way, but I don't know. I don't think I can. I think we might be hitting a limit on that. Brake force is low. Well, we should have big brakes after all. It's gotta be tough to slow down otherwise. There's not a whole lot of gravity. Creating friction. Okay, we have max ride height. Only one little warning. Okay, so now this is heavier. It's not double. It's not as heavy as I'd like it to be. Nice towing capacity and load capacity though. If we need to put a tank of oxygen in the flatbed, it might be able to do that. We've got a potential 3 ton capacity for that. That'll be more than enough to compensate for the mass of the octane fuel. Doesn't look too bad. Lots more downforce now. Roll angle is okay. Let's do their little test track first. Fifteen miles per gallon. One hundred forty-six thousand dollars. It says though. But then we're selling it to NASA, so it's okay. I swear it's better in every way than the Earth one. Oh, maybe not. Actually, that time is a little bit lower. I mean, more, so worse. Okay, yeah, that was a little bit worse, but okay. No, I mean, it's that wasn't like not moving at all or anything. All right, let's put some fancy bits on it to make it look good. Well, uh, in, in honor of... Uh, Elon naming things like Super Heavy and Starship. I'm just gonna call this Rover. And this will be Rover Red. Okay. That's fair enough, right? Okay, so Rover Red. So what? We wanted. Utah? Um, let's just go road course first. Okay, this is Earth. Just a reminder. What we're looking for is... Uh, yeah. Better ooh, out. Maybe that wasn't a very good thing to do. Okay, um, can we... R, should let me reset? I'll have to check it, I don't know. What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Ah. Okay, well, it wasn't critical. I thought it was like a hard surface that I was running into. Oh, don't go off the narrow bridge, please. You know, it's supposed to be a time trial and it's supposed to be taking my times, so but it's not really taking my times. <laughs> uh, it really needs to take those. Benchmarks. Oh well. Oh, 
Oh, it's going squirrely. Uh, I only records lap times. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Oh, you can't you can't change the environment here. Uh, it has to be free roam to change the environment settings. Okay. Now we've got the other settings, environment. Okay, so gravity. It has wind speed, cloud cover, and fog density, but not... Uh, well, let's just set Mars. Mars. Yeah, they don't have uh, air density. They have fog density, but not air density. So close. Okay, continue. Alright. Wait, this isn't my my vehicle. What? Stop, 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 stop. Wrong place. Oh, I guess we could use this truck as uh But we don't really have a lap. Well Yeah, let, let's see how it does. Okay, let's see how this truck, which is not my truck, and is an automatic. How it does handles and everything. Let's just try my vehicle. It's fine. Oh, no, don't change the camera while I'm driving. I maintain it accelerates better than the other one. Budget sedan? Oh, it does tend to skid a bit though. I'd say it's performing better in this gravity than Earth, Earth gravity. Oh, but it can't turn... <laughs> oh, Mars gravity. That wheel falling is funny. Bounce. It was never got. I know, I know. Okay, alright, alright. Reset. That's good. We reset to this location of all things. But that's fine. Um. Okay, hold on. Let me change it back to Earth gravity for a sec. Okay. This is a heck of a tunnel. Oh, this is Utah again. Alright, well, that was a lap, basically. Okay, that Utah sign is sort of the thing. Okay, um, let's reset. And let's uh, change the gravity again. All right. Mm -hmm. 
little bit of a skid. Uh... The thing is, with its heavy batteries, maybe the Cybertruck wouldn't be too bad on Mars. I mean, it doesn't look like there's a huge difference between a truck handling on Mars. Just as I say that. Come on, reaction wheel. Oh. We need like a Toyota Hilux truck or something. You know what I mean? We need an indestructible truck. Oh, I think it's still good. Hold on, let's get the right way around here. Oh, I think its handling might have suffered from all of that. It's smoking a bit too. Oh god, no, it turned a lot more. Front wings dented means it's for a- yeah, but we must try. We must try. Oh, oh. How much damage you can cause and survive. Uh, things are bent. I, I can't confirm or deny specific parts right now. Okay, this tunnel is going to be too long for me to drive this in. <laughs> Made it back to the sign, I won. Okay, well, we are going to try one of the stock cars now. In the sheer knowledge that I'll probably crash it somehow. Um, well, that's a truck. So this is a stock truck, right? We are going to attempt to collide it with things. Okay, desperation braking. And... Well, we hit a rock, though. So that's cheats. Last time we didn't hit a rock. Oh no, don't go off early. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, you're doing desperation breaking earlier. Yeah, that wasn't according to plan. Now we're going too slow. Oh, maybe you can get faster. Uh, let's see. You've already gotten some damage though, car. Okay. See, it basically did the same thing. Except it might not tumble the right way around this time. Okay, uh, no, uh, probably... Oh, it accelerates too fast. Oh yes, this is about right. Uh, left axle bro- oh... It did get a bit more damage, but I maintain that's because it's not made out of cast iron like my automo uh, automation one. It's probably just aluminum. My automation one is cast iron, so obviously it would do better. I think I should put it around the track. Uh, oh, maybe we should try off-roading. 
we should try off-roading. After all, it's gonna be in the middle of uh, Mars. It's not necessarily gonna be. Let me just make sure. Yeah, the gravity is fine. We'll try different gravities later. Needs to be able to climb. Let's see what kind of slopes it can tackle. Oh, not that one. <laughs> okay. We need to avoid rocks, apparently. Boom, visually. Okay, well, visually, fine. So it's not a realism thing. Okay. I see a roll problem. Oh, go right instead? Okay, maybe we don't have a roll problem. I mean, this is mild for off-roading, but then I see a cliff up ahead. Oh, not the- not water. Is that water? That's probably water. Well, that's why we picked the road. I mean, the map. Up to the... Oh, not the water! Eek. It's just a simulation that shouldn't be confused for actual Mars. If this was Top Gear, I would tro totally try and ford that river and fail miserably. The back end is really vibrant. Oh, those plants are a little bit too hard for me. <laughs> Drive through quickly? Oh no, we're gonna try that. Um, let's get a running start then. Oh. Trying from water. Uh, no, not the tree. Uh, I really want... I mean, there's low gravity. There's no reason it can't climb. Boy, it's catching here, though. Oh, tree! Ah. The mirrors may be superfluous. Come on, write yourself, write yourself! Yes! Good try. Ow! You can- it's fine, it's fine. No buff out. Ah! What the heck was that? Was that a was that a stone tree? Petrified petrified forests aren't a thing on Mars though. No. Oh, we're, we're, we've gone belly up. Okay, it is time to try different gravities. Saturn is not very gravity. <laughs> I mean, Earth is negative uh, 9.81. The quote-unquote surface of Saturn, uh, Saturn is 10.44 only. Uranus is less. Neptune is Neptune has more than Saturn. Jupiter, 
Ooh, I think everything just collapsed. It's gonna grind so bad. Saturn is not very gravity. Only ha! This truck can take on any gravity. Well, okay, not the sun. <laughs> I don't think third gear is necessary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, negative, I don't know if that's any, that's worthwhile. Negative, I mean, I'll just get flung off, right? All right, fine, maybe third gear is a thing. Was there a neutron star option? That, that will crush this thing mercilessly. Oh, wow. So yeah, it, it looks like it maxes out at 58 miles an hour on Jupiter, but it's still viable. I think the wheels are actually scraping against the top of the wheel arches. Okay, so the rule is if we can make it back to the Utah sign, it is safe for that. Okay, um... Well, let's go negative Earth briefly. Okay, yes, that's happening. Um, moon. Hey, after doing negative Earth and we do moon, wow, the negative Earth is serious. Moon isn't even stopping it. This is gonna be interesting. Could have been worse. Okay, well, um, let, let, let's see, um, uh, sun. <laughs> oh, is it really only, uh, 274 or is there more? Oh, no, that, that's, that's really at the, yeah, it, it can't start. I'm pretty sure the wheels are actually would actually be flat at this point and have bursted, but... Okay, uh, reset. Oh, wait, no, no, reset uh, first Earth level. Okay. Um, Pluto. I mean, Pluto is more extreme than the moon. Let's see about Pluto. Oh, it doesn't have enough grip for Pluto. I was wondering if it had actually taken off. Stock car and do some gravity? Eh, whatever. It is not a competition to see who can deform more cosmos. Come on. That is not the goal here. It's gotta be a bit tedious, but again, the goal is to get back to the sign. If we can get back to the sign, this is actually Pluto rated. Those are the rules. Oh god, oh no, oh no! <laughs> not <laughs> yeah I mean I don't know if I can drive on the walls of the tunnel in a controlled manner okay maybe maybe Pluto is a bridge too far um, let's try the moon. 
which has like three times the gravity of Pluto. So I don't think it's actually getting 70 miles an hour. Um, <laughs> let's wait a little bit. Lots of wheels spin here. I can turn, so let's keep it to. Uh, <laughs> I was trying as much as I could to turn. Okay, we can't turn at that speed there. Lunar Rover mod? That would be nice. I need to figure out how to do electric cars in here, though. And then a jet engine. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we can do jet engines in here, but... A little rocket-assisted car might be fun. Well, it does better here than on Jupiter. Don't make me turn, please don't make me turn, please don't make me turn, please don't make me turn. Okay, well, we have to turn soon. Ow. Okay, well, this is this is moon safe, we can say. Alright, let's uh we, we need to do the full crumple. I don't know how high this can go. What's what's like the maximum altitude for something in here? Well, it's no fun if I can't see the ground anymore, so... Sun! I feel like it's hit its mathematical limits. <laughs> oh, I, I think I think they crumple just fine. They crumple just fine. <laughs> Who says they don't crumple? Honestly. Shall we compare that to one of the stock cars for crumpling? Let's reset to Earth. Do you think the Ibishu Penguin is a proper truck? The Disappointment. Yes. We'll go with the Disappointment. A proper truck, quote unquote. Alright. Uh, that's good enough. I like mine better. Wait, where did I... I... I think... The world has turned yellow. There is a... I can't zoom out. How do you zoom out? Uh, they, there's a yellow wall there. Uh, yeah, well, it's set to the sun's level, which is the same I did for my car, but my car crumpled better. My, my car crumpled better. <laughs> 